Uh, so you've been up here for about two weeks now on, on this stretch. Uh, what are your takeaways from, from your own performance and, and what you've learned and, and what you think you've done well? Um, I just think I'm getting more confidence. You know, I think every game I play, I've been, I've been getting better and better. I'm starting to, to make better plays with the puck. Uh, kind of just see the game. I'm up to pace now, so I'm kind of up to the speed of the game. So I'm able to see it um, a little better right now. And I think defensively, I'm growing every game too, working with Jim Playfair. So um, I've, just, I've gotten to a good feel for the structure and, and how Tippett wants, uh, wants things done. And I think every game I play, I hopefully just continue to get better. A little bit about that role Tippett's given you, a bit more of a defensive focus. What is, what's it been like to come in here and get a role like that and just run with it for these last few games? Yeah, you know, I, I've always been a guy who takes pride. I think I can and play any role on a team, you know, any team that needs me. You know, when, when I'm down there, I, I probably take a little more of an offensive role when I'm on the power play. But, um, you know, here they kind of have a couple guys that have those roles already. And um, just being able to come in and, and try to be solid defensively and, you know, help contribute that way. You know, I, I take pride in being able to do that in my game. Is that part of the growth of the NHL player? You come in here and kind of establish yourself in, in that role, and then from there you're just building blocks? Yeah, exactly. I think to, to play in the NHL as a defenseman, you got to be able to be a really good defender. That's the first thing. And, and once you get a coach's trust and, and, and they feel good about putting you on the ice against certain players in certain situations, then you can start to grow your offensive game. And, you know, I already feel like uh, offensively, you know, I'm, I get good looks at the net. You know, I'm getting shots through and everything. So... Um, you know, things will start to happen and open up more for me there, but as long as I stay tight defensively and keep working on that part of my game, um, everything else will come. You told us when you first got here that when you walked in the room, it, it was a group that seemed unsatisfied. Last night, a gritty win and a group that's been confident but frustrated lately. What do you think the sense is in the room right now after, after getting that one and getting some momentum to move forward with? Well, yeah, you know, after the game you know, we were talking about, you know, it, it almost seemed like the sky was falling a little bit there for a little bit, but, you know, you look right back at the standings and, and we're tied for first in the Pacific. So, um, you know, there wasn't too much panic. You know, we had a lot of good things going on and, and the leaders in there and the guys, the veterans that speak up were saying that, you know, we just got to eliminate a couple mistakes from our game and really, really hunker down when we're up a goal in the third like that and make sure we don't give them any more. And um, we were able to do that last night and that's something, you know, as a team, hopefully we can continue to do. And then last game, just going into uh, tomorrow's matchup with Vancouver, just what are the kind of the difficult factors of playing, you know, that f last game before the Christmas break? Um, I don't think there's too much. You know, it's, it's three periods and then, you know, you get a little break. So you just, um, you know, give it all you got for three periods and it's a big two points. You know, I mean, it's a division, division rival. So, um, you know, we'll be ready to go and I'm sure the leaders will have us going in there. <laughs> Do you have anything special planned for the holidays? Just going home to mom and, and some brothers. So family's getting back together in Dallas. That's about it. Sorry. Favorite part of the holidays? Uh, the food? Yeah. <laughs> probably the, Seth, Seth usually likes to cook a good meal. So he's a good cook. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs>